Okay, I normally reserve videos like this for my Facebook. You know, because I like seeing who's watching and I like the interaction. But this is being reserved for my YouTube here. And even if this reaches a 1%, a 1 percentile, that's more than enough. You know, I keep... You know, I keep, pre I've been preaching over the years that we, not just as Americans, but we as human beings, need to have the utmost sympathy, respect, empathy for, for others. Like I said, not just as Americans, but as human, as human beings, because we are someone, we are someone's brother, sister, niece, nephew, etc. I say this because over the weekend, you know, I heard news of a young country singer by the name of Kylie Ray Harris died in a car accident. What's not being mentioned though, although it's starting to get mentioned, is the other girl that was involved in this car accident, Maria De La Cruz, I think. I, I think I got the last name wrong. But the other girl's name was 16 years old, Maria. She lost her life as well. It's a tragedy that we lost two lives. Now, I'm not going to sit here and claim that Kylie's a murderer. That she, needs, she deserves to rot in hell like some individuals have been. Because that lacks respect. It lacks empathy. It lacks compassion. And that lacks tolerance. Uh, it, 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 it's another one of those situations that just makes me go, "Am I really, am I really hearing this right from other individuals who don't understand alcoholism or or having having your own personal demons?" You know, I may not be. I may not, I may not understand alcohol, uh, alcoholism, but it's, I understand having issues going on, I'm, I'm not in life, but up here, everyone's, everyone doesn't seem to stop and realize that a lot of us have issues up here, and it, you know, I think you're only a murderer when your intention is to kill people. With no remorse. Because in, I'm willing to bet you that if we were to talk to Kylie, that she would feel very bad that another girl lost her life because of the unfortunate decision that apparently was made by Kylie. But here's the thing, I don't know the whole situation, so I'm not going to say that Kylie is responsible. I wasn't there. I understand that police have a job to do, but I've had my experiences that throughout my life that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hundred percent trust what the police have to say. They have a job to do. That's it. End of story. I think it would be a different story if I was if I was directly involved in the situation, and I can't imagine. How, how the families of both Maria and Kylie are reacting and dealing and grieving, but I personally feel that you know if it, like if someone has got the clear intent to kill to kill someone, then they de they deserve every right to be condemned. That I'm all for because they made a decision, and may God have mercy on them. But I know God doesn't. I'm not. I'm not the religious type. I do know though that God doesn't will not be accepting of us judging others for a decision, and even if that decision ends up costing someone else, else their life. It is not our right to judge. It is not our place to run around playing the role of martyr. And condemning others because they made a decision that led to the loss of a loved one. I I get it. 
I've lost a good friend of mine many, many, many years ago when I was still residing in Reno, Nevada, who died as a result of drunk driving. Again, I don't know the whole situation. I, I was told that this friend of mine was the one himself that was drunk. I've had others tell me that it was, it was a drunk, another drunk driver. At the end of the day, I can care less who was drunk because I lost a friend. And if he was drunk, I'm not going to sit here trying to either blame, trying to blame, trying to blame others or trying to blame my buddy. I lost a friend. That's all. That's really all that matters to me. I lost a friend of mine, and I'm not gonna sit here and claim that he deserves to be in hell when I don't know the full. Like I said, Ugarangani, I don't know the full situation. It just appalls me that social media is allowing people to abuse their right to an opinion to become the lowest form that one can become. When you become the lowest form of who you are, you're, sin you're sinning and you're condemning yourself. You I can hear people trying to argue on that. Good luck. I stand by my opinion. And I'm going to defend my opinion against anyone who tries to say otherwise. But my favorite thing about YouTube here or even social media is I don't owe any of you a damn fucking thing. Because I don't know you. You're not my friend. I don't love you. And I probably don't intend on loving you. I will, uh, I will most cer certainly show you respect. I will most certainly show you Sympathy, you know, because at the end of the day, you're still a human being like me, but I'm not going to respect you if you're going to disrespect me. It works both. It, it's a two-way street. And I don't want to hear the argument, well, this is social media, and that YouTube is a part of that, and then the moment you open up this can of worms, Brad, you got to learn to take it. Well, I know how to take it, and that's just by reporting and, putting, and hitting the block button. I don't, like I said, I don't anyone I don't owe anyone a thing. What happened in New Mexico with Kylie and uh, Marie Maria is a tragic accident that happens every day. There's nothing we can do about it. It's, it's we as humans make decisions, and some of us when we have demons, if you or have issues that we are struggling with. That's not really our fault. It's just we, some of us, don't really have a great coping mechanism in trying to battle these issues. And sometimes, and even sometimes we have loved ones that are consistently stepping in to help you. We we have the tendency to shy away, and we don't realize how much we need the help until we literally hit our lowest form. So I was have where I thought that when we hit that lowest form of ourselves to go, okay, I need help. It's because you, you because you finally recognize what I'm doing is harming myself, and I hate to leave my daughter behind or to leave my uh, my loved ones behind. I want them to be proud of who I am. But then there are others that just don't have that capability to rescue themselves. And again, it's got to be loved ones that have to rescue them. But some of us, when our issues are so ingrained, we ignore all, all types of help. And sometimes when we ignore all types of help, drastic measures have to be taken. And that usually means having to call the police, having to get social workers involved, and et cetera, et cetera. It's a whole... It's a whole system of, of red flags and white tape that you got to deal with. And it's it gets messy. Uh, it's not fun. And, you know, I, I believe a lot of you fail to understand how that works. I'm not here defending 
Kylie's decision. I will agree it was a dumb decision to get behind the wheel intoxicated, but she's not the first one, she's not the last, and there's something we can do about it. I think the best way to do about this is to do videos like this and go, okay, if, if you're with a loved one, or you're with someone that you know is drunk, and you 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 trust in yourself that, hey, I can, I can stop this person, do it, because that's considered injustice. We have the power to, to bring injustice to an end, but some of us choose not to. It may not be your problem, yes, because I had that attitude too, and this it's, I, I had that attitude too. If it doesn't affect me, I'm not gonna worry about it. But if I feel confident myself, hey, maybe I can help diffuse the situation, I will get involved. But nine times out of 10, I don't because I'm not gonna risk that person pulling out a gun and boom, I'm dead. I'm not going to risk that person willing to kill me because they didn't want me involved in their in their affairs. It's a very brutal world. And this world's been brutal since day one. A lot, you know, as, as I wind this video up, a lot, I hear a lot of people say, this world's scary. This world's been scary since I was born and since you were born. It's just the reason... It seems scarier more than ever it's because we're constantly on the internet. So we are reading all this negativity and then we focus on the negativity. Maybe, perhaps if we step back and stop focusing on the, neg on the negativity and focus on the positives that we as human beings and, as, and, and individuals are doing, we, we could show that this is a positive world, but because we continue to focus on the negativity at hand as both Americans and human beings, it's get, we're, this world's gonna get, keep getting betrayed as a much scarier world than it was in the 80s. The world is just as scary as now as it was in the 80s. We're just more aware because of all this, the internet. I guarantee you that if we had this at our disposal, Adam Walsh, John Walsh's kid, probably would not have, died, probably would not have been murdered. Could you imagine what today's world would be like had Adam Walsh not been murdered? We wouldn't have America's Most Wanted. We wouldn't have the cold Adam. We wouldn't have the um, system we have in place in regards to missing children. We, 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 we still would. It just wouldn't have the attention that it got because of John Walsh. I mean, like I said, think, think about that. What would this world be like had Adam Walsh not been kidnapped and murdered. That creates a whole different alternate reality. You know, I know it's off topic from Kylie Ray Harris, but I'm trying to make a point here. You know, kind of a very bad point, but I think some of you that m might at least get that and go, okay, I, I see the point he's trying to make. It's a bit mumbled, but I, I get it. And I have a tendency to do that, mumble, and rum, mumble and ramble on when I'm trying to make a point. Um, drunk driving is just, like I said, it's an unfortunate circumstance that befalls many of us in some way. And I'm sure many of us in some way has been affected by a drunk driver. What's important is that we don't lose sight of the fact that they are still a human being. That they are still someone's son, daughter, so on. I, I, I said all that. I've been through that. Uh, just, I'm, I can tell I'm talking in circles now, which means it's time to end. It's time to end this. Just remember that we are, we are in this together. We need to be in this together. But it seems like we don't give a shit. The more we don't give a shit, the more the system's gonna. The more this broken system is just going to continue to crumble. Let's do what we can to make the system work. Because if we don't make the system work, it's just going to continue falling apart. You ever wonder why this country's a hot mess? Because we're not fixing the system. We're just we're just making it worse. I wonder how, I wonder how many of you are going to realize that and understand. Oh, we got a problem here. Oh, that's right, because I expect too much from my fellow Americans.